What's up, everybody? My name is Dr. Titus Chu, and this is The Modern Brain. Do you have chronic digestive symptoms that no matter what you do, you just can't get rid of them? Are you experiencing bloating or constipation or diarrhea or just stomach pain? Or maybe even IBS? And have you tried everything within your toolbox? Have you tried changing your diet? Have you tried taking different supplements, maybe probiotics? Maybe you've even gone out and run some advanced lab tests like stool tests or a SIBO breath test and still you're struggling. Well, the thing is, it might not actually be your digestive system that's the problem. It could be your brain. Let me explain. Within your nervous system, there's many different areas that perceive your body. So for example, over here in the, the back part of your brain is what we call the parietal lobe. And in the parietal lobe, you have all these different brain cells that perceive where you are in space and also perceive your sense of touch. So for example, if I touch my hand, my left hand right here, it's my right parietal lobe that allows me to perceive that. Well, the interesting thing is you have the same thing for your guts, for your viscera, and for your digestive system. So there's a, another region and it's buried even deeper behind this region of your frontal lobe, parietal lobe and temporal lobe, it's what we call the insular cortex. And the insular cortex is really, really, really important part of our nervous system because it gives us our sense of compassion. It gives us a sense of empathy for others. It allows us to perceive like suffering for other people as well as our own. But one thing it also does, it processes our internal sensations, for example, our digestive system. And so if you've had a chronic gut problem, digestive problem like bloating or gas or constipation or pain or IBS, it could be that there actually is something going on in your digestive system that we need to identify through lab testing like stool test or like a breath test. But if you've done all that and you've tried the diets and the supplements and you've made all these changes and you're still experiencing that, again, it could be because your insular cortex has become overactive. Because what ends up happening, it becomes like this vicious cycle. Let's say you had food poisoning when you went traveling years ago to India, for example. You experienced food poisoning, and ever since then, your gut was never the same. Well, you actually had a problem in your digestive system, probably like a parasite or a bacteria that you needed to get rid of. Well, let's say it was there for many months or years, and it finally, after you identified it and you got rid of it through some type of gut healing protocol, but the thing is you cleared up and healed the gut, but there was a communication, a conversation happening all throughout those months and years between your gut and your insular cortex. And what ends up happening, your insular cortex then develops what we call neuroplasticity, but not in a good way. It starts to perceive and become really sensitive to any type of movement or sensation coming from the gut, even so much so that once you heal the digestive system, the insular cortex is still stuck. It still thinks that there's a problem in your digestive system. A great example is what's known as phantom limb syndrome. It's where people who have lost their limbs in a traumatic event, maybe lost their limb, they still experience pain in that limb, even though it wasn't there. So a lot of neuroscientists, are, it just completely changed the way we thought about pain. Rather than pain being a problem of just the actual, what we call the end organ, like the actual appendage, it was actually a problem of processing in the central nervous system where that trauma became embedded in the brain. And even after the hand or the arm was gone, the brain still perceived that pain. And so that could be the case for you, but not in terms of, you know, it's not like you lost your gut or whatever, but it's the same concept that the symptoms you're experiencing might not actually be a problem of your gut anymore or just a problem of your gut. It could be a problem of overactivity in your insular cortex. The great news is that there's so many different things that you can do to help calm that insular cortex down and in doing so, give your belly a break and start to ease whatever tension you feel in your gut. One simple thing you can do is just a belly massage. 
Just take the palm of your hand and gently put it on your belly and take a few deep breaths in and out. You might feel some areas where there's a bit of tension and just gently push in those areas. Breathing in and out. Because when you apply pressure to your digestive system, there's all these motion detectors found within your gut that when you put pressure on them, it activates a nerve fiber, what we call the vagus nerve, and sends a signal all the way into your brainstem. And then from there, it goes from your brainstem to your insular cortex. And if you do it with slow, deep breathing movements, taking deep breaths in and out, and applying gentle pressure to your belly, that'll help calm an overactive insular cortex. And when you do that, that can start to rewire your brain, which could be at the root cause of your digestive symptoms. I hope this video has been valuable to you. If you know someone who would benefit from this, who have had struggle with chronic digestive symptoms, gas or bloating or irritable bowel syndrome for months or years, and they've tried everything and they're frustrated, then share this video with them because this simple tip, belly massage of the insular cortex, can be a game changer for them. My name is Dr. Titus Chu. Thanks for watching. This has been The Modern Brain.